How's everybody doing today? My name is Joe and my reselling business is Stop Sleeping, Start Eating. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Recently, I went to three different locations sourcing for my reselling business, Stop Sleeping, Start Eating. Uh, all my information will be linked down below. But in today's video, we're going to be going over the finds from those sourcing trips. Let's dive right into it. Please like the video and subscribe if you're not already. Let's go. So for the past year or so, I've really only been sourcing footwear, um, but as of recently, I went back to my, my old roots and picked up a nice healthy pile of clothing to resell. I'm probably just going to do lots of stuff. I don't really plan on doing a lot of single items, but just, you know, this is some bread and butter stuff. Uh, we got flannels, we got dress shirts, all different types of stuff. I don't know how many exactly, close to 20, 20 pieces probably, but most of that stuff will be wholesaled onto my eBay, so that's pretty cool. There's just so much opportunity in thrift stores, it's like, I don't know, it's it's hard to pass it up sometimes, so that'll be fun to get in store, but let's go on to the shoes. This is mainly from the three different uh, sourcing trips. Let's pick out this one right on top, that one's catching my eye. Really nice colorway on that, like a forest pine green or something like that. Very minimal wear. All of these and all of the clothing as well, everything has been already cleaned. Everything's ready to be listed and sold. They do have a little dangle tag. They don't seem to be brand new, just pre-owned, very light wear. I got to throw some shoelaces on them. Those will, those will be a nice sell. When that comes through, next up, next up, this is a fantastic brand to look out for, Mephisto. These are some leather slip-on uh, sandals, like a little buckle. I really like the pattern on that too, like iridescent, really a nice pair there. Those will sell and do very well, even though it's, you know, coming in... Uh, into fall we're in fall now those will still do good <laughs> next up though we got johnson and murphy this is the signature series really nice dress shoes sheepskin leather good pair right there got some really nice pairs that we picked up let's go for these next first time ever finding these i do want to take you guys out with sourcing with me too I'm always like so nervous to like pick up the camera and film whether I'm, you know, at a flea market or a thrift store, but there'll be some videos coming. I got to build up my confidence. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see me uh, go live and, uh, you know, in store with you guys. Let me know if that's something you want to see. But this is a great find. Clove. This is like a nurse type shoe. Really minimal wear on those. Glad to pick those up. I got a question for everyone watching too. If anyone's into reselling like I am, uh, what do you sell? What's your favorite things to sell? For me, it's all types of footwear. That's my main source of income and main thing that I pick up. But as you see, I also am sort of trickling into the clothing and I do have other odds and ends that I you know, sell from, from personal use, my personal life, etc. So let me know down in the comments. Let's pick up where we left off. This is a really nice bread and butter brand, Teva. Teva is an excellent brand to source. I recently just sold a pair of like insulated women's winter boots that were Teva. Those did really well, and those actually went on Poshmark. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Goat, whatnot. I sell on a whole bunch of, <laughs> whole bunch of marketplaces. But this was an awesome find, one of my best finds from the past three sourcing trips. Nike Vapor Maxes in an excellent size too. These are a men's size 11. Oops, lost the other one, but but uh, yeah, my first time ever really working with Vapor Maxes. I don't come across a lot of hype shoes in my area, so this was an awesome, awesome find. So with these being one of the best finds for my sourcing trips, what do you think that these will sell for when I list them? I was seeing comps between like 60 to 100, somewhere around there. Let me know what you think that these will go for. I picked up a bunch of other really great brands. For example, Sanook. These are really nice shoe brand to look out for. 
These have leather on the uppers, so those are going to do better than the ordinary pair. Men's size definitely adds Sanook to your bolo list if it's not already on there. And if you're not sure what bolo means, it just means be on the lookout. This is a really, really nice pair of women's Converse. These are like a collaboration with Nike, which is sick. Newer model, women's. They are a smaller size in women's, but those will do really, really nice. Really nice athletic shoe. It's cool to see those out in the wild. This was from a thrift store, Reebok. These are the CrossFits. I don't have too good of luck with Reebok shoes unless they're CrossFits. For whatever reason, the CrossFits just have a really excellent following. I mean, I really shouldn't complain because <laughs> uh, this pair should flip really quick, really easily. Not a lot of wear on those good men's size. Good colorway, so that was a nice, nice pickup. Let's do these. I've never seen anything like these before. This was a cool find. Rockport works. Rockport's nothing, you know, to to, to jump for joy over or whatever. But but uh, these being steel toe, they're like a little work loafer, almost like boat shoes. Honestly, pretty nice, man. That that steel toe is is in there. That thing is ready to be worn, ready to be used and abused. Definitely keep an eye out for those. Comps were looking all right on those. So I was happy to pick them up. Check these out. These are the cutest little Crocs I've ever seen. Small size, toddler 4, 4C. Really, really cute. Wear them up like that and then put them in sport mode. Woo! <laughs> You're ready to go. But those are so cute. Like a little sparkle. We only got a couple more pairs left, guys. Boots are saved for the end. We got Uggs. This nice pair of Uggs, leather Uggs. I think these are a woman's size 6. Tags way down in there. Really a nice pair there. Not too much wear. And this is the last pair that I will be showing you guys. Polaris. Some Polaris snow boots. If you know about like Polaris machines and like, um, I don't know what they make exactly, the 4x4s or something like that, off-roading vehicles, Polaris is an excellent company. They make, you know, whatever, outdoor products, outdoor vehicles, stuff like that. So this was an excellent find. Was not expecting those. I think those were a woman's size 7. So we got a nice, nice pile of finds here ready to go up in store let's go so let me know what you guys think of everything that i picked up in this video i hope to get some quick flips reinvest that money and keep the cycle going Thanks again for all the support on the channel and the business i will see you guys in the next video take care